Welcome back to Living Local. While many of us have heard of the term fiber optics, few of us know what it's really all about. The technology has revolutionized long distance phone calls, cable TV, and the internet. Today we're learning more about the fascinating mechanics behind fiber optics and how it can impact your daily life. Joining us in studio today is Eric Vinke with Metronet. Great to have you here, Eric. Yes, thanks for having me. So before we jump into fiber, uh, can you remind us what is Metronet and how long have you been serving the Quad Cities? Sure, so we're a fiber internet company. We came to the Quad Cities, started our construction about two, two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. um, active service has been around for about 15 months now. Mm -hmm. um, and we're headquartered in Evansville, Indiana. So today, Eric, we are unpacking the technology of fiber optics. So what exactly is fiber technology? Sure, so fiber technology is a technology that uses a strand of small fibers inside of a, a wire, mm -hmm. essentially. And there could be anywhere from a couple strands to thousands of strands, depending on that size. And the information and data is transmitted um, via light. So think of tiny strands that are bouncing off that wire um, inside that, that cable, and it's nearly essentially as fast as turning on a light switch like the speed of light. So how long has fiber technology been around? So it's been around since the 70s. Mm -hmm. Now, um, don't quiz me on what it was for <laughs> in the 70s or where it kind of started or mm -hmm. what the purpose was. Um, it's becoming increasingly popular since probably starting 2007, 2008 and beyond for home mm -hmm. um, high-speed internet service. I gotcha, gotcha. Now, what is the difference between using fiber and copper or sure. what was used before? Yeah, so it's those light signals um, for, the, for uh, fiber, whereas copper uses electromagnetic uh, signals. And so from a stability standpoint, fiber is much more stable. It can hold up to things like um, fire, weather, um, different catastrophes better than copper can. But the biggest thing is the speed. The mm -hmm. speed that fiber transmits data, um, and that is data on uploads and downloads. Um, so think of speed of light versus copper it takes a lot longer for things to reach its destination. So when Metronet got to the Quad Cities, what did that construction process look like to set our community up for fiber optics? Sure. So there's a lot of involvement with the actual cities themselves, um, having to work with the officials there. Um, beyond that, we then communicate to the neighborhoods where we're going to build and let them know what to expect from a construction standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, we use, you know, public easements and public right-of-ways, but we want them to know, you know, a lot of people don't realize that those easements and right-of-ways are public space. Mm -hmm. And so we want them to know what they expect. You're going to see people digging. You're going to see maybe a little bit of, um, you know, I guess your yards tore mm -hmm. up in spots and really that easement area, but we're also going to make that right when we're done with the construction. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll send out postcards, we'll um, have announcements, we attend a lot of city council, city hall meetings um, so that the public can ask questions and so that we can bring them up to speed on what that process looks like. And how can fiber technology impact our daily lives? Sure. So, I mean, a great example is what's happened in, you know, the past year, starting in 2020 um, with the pandemic, increased bandwidth, um, or need for increased bandwidth mm -hmm. has gone up by 30% for your home use. So the average you know, household now maybe has people on Zoom meetings for uh, work, or maybe it's remote school learning. Uh, maybe they're streaming more because they're not going out as much. Mm -hmm. So fiber brings that extra bandwidth or that needed bandwidth in order to run simultaneous devices, um, not just from your laptops and computers, but think of all your smart home connected items these days. You've got watches, garage door openers, um, security systems. And so fiber really makes sure that there's enough bandwidth there for those items to run as intended. And how accessible is fiber optics? How can folks be like, okay, I this sounds great, I would yep. love this, how can I utilize it? Absolutely. So to actually check if services available in your area, mm -hmm. we'll start there. You can go on to metronet.com mm -hmm. and if you click in the upper right hand corner, order services, you can enter your address. We are available in Davenport, Bettendorf, um, LeClaire is coming soon and we're also working on the Illinois side. I don't have any hard dates for the Illinois mm -hmm. side, but we are coming to the Illinois Quad Cities um, in the very near future. So uh, they can check by that uh, website for if it's available. Um, and from there, then you go through the process of selecting what speed would be good for your you know, family or your situation, your household. Um, you can go with and look at TV packages as well as our uh, home phone service too. When you're working with folks and they just get set up with fiber optic technology, what kind of feedback is typical? Sure. So it's been well received across our entire footprint. Mm -hmm. The Quad Cities has been an amazing market for us. Um, just people really embrace the fact that now they have a very stable connection, mm -hmm. a fast connection. Um, not only is it great for the now, but it's also future proof. Mm -hmm. um, we're already looking at speeds. We right now have up to a gigabyte of service and we're in lab testing two, five and 10 gigabytes per second in addition to the one gigabyte that we already offer. 
Wow, exciting stuff on the horizon. Uh, what is the Metronet difference? Sure, the Metronet difference is we call it fiber to the home. Mm -hmm. So our network is 100% fiber. Mm -hmm. um, there are other companies out there that will say their network has fiber as part of it, but if at any point in time that fiber is then transfer over to copper, mm -hmm. you lose that fiber advantage. So mm -hmm. our network is 100% fiber. Um, we also, you know, our employees are local. So we've got myself, I was born and raised in the Quad Cities. Mm -hmm. We've got a storefront in Davenport. Those associates are local, our technicians. So, you know, headquartered in Indiana, but we have a local presence where we like to be active in the community. Um, in addition to that, we offer speeds that are unparalleled to anybody else. I mean, it's kind of that re redundant uh, phrase today, but it's just speeds that you cannot get from another competitor locally. Now, Eric, as fiber technology is becoming more common and more accessible, what kind of change collectively do you see it having on the way that we live our lives? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, with fiber, you should essentially see things like buffering, things timing out. Maybe if you're trying to stream movies, it pauses or gets pixelated. Mm -hmm. um, those sort of things should be a thing of the past. And so what it's going to allow you to do is, as you know, the pandemic has proven, um, there's a shift in how we're doing things. Mm -hmm. And that's from an entertainment standpoint. That's from a work standpoint. Mm -hmm. It's going to allow for that to be seamless. If, you know, that office becomes more remote going forward or there's more flexibility there and you've got you know people needing bandwidth for those needs mm -hmm. while maybe uh, there's some streaming services on TV for your family while you're working all of that should be without issue um, and you just get an experience where things work how they expect they should work mm -hmm. and they you know you don't have any lag or downtime fantastic I think that we all can appreciate that to speed yeah, up yeah. everything uh, Eric thank you so much for all the information and for taking the time to be with us today I appreciate it thanks for having me again if you guys would like some more information you can go to metronetinc.com slash get fiber now we'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com